Salut tout le monde, bienvenue chez I Am Here. Ici John. Cette semaine, on joue à The Beginner's Guide, qui est dans le fond le guide du débutant, l'autre jeu du créateur de Stanley Parable. C'est un jeu plus narratif, de presque j'ai cru comprendre, avec un peu moins d'humour peut-être. Un peu moins dark. Ok, il y a de la rose, beau. Les commandes, un classique. Hi there. Thank you very much for playing the beginner's guide. My Merci name is Davey Reed. Reed. I wrote the Stanley Parable. Le frère And du while that game tells a pretty absurd story, Doug Doug. today I'm going to tell you about a series of events that happened between 2008 and 2011. Je suis tout, tout We're tout going to look at the games made by a friend of mine named Coda. Now these games mean a lot to me. Uh, I met Coda in early 2009 at a time when I was really struggling with some personal stuff. And his work pointed me in a very powerful direction. I found it to be a good reference point for the kinds of creative works that I wanted to make. So just to start you off, this is, I think, the first game he ever made. It's a level for Counter-Strike. You can walk around here, by the way. And uh, mostly it's just Coda learning the basics of building a 3D environment. But what I like is that even though he starts from the simple <laughs> aesthetic of a desert town, he then source. scatters these colorful abstract blobs and impossible floating crates around the level. And of course, it destroys the illusion that this actually is a desert town, and instead this level becomes a kind of calling card from its creator. It's like a reminder that this video game was constructed by a real person. And it kind of makes you wonder, what was going through his head as he was building this? This is what I like about all of Coda's games. I mean, not that they're all sources. fascinating as games, but that they are all going to give us access to their creator. I want us to see past the games themselves. I want to get to know who this human being really is. And that's exactly what we're going to do here. So, it's 2008, Coda mm. starts making these games, dance, hein? and he never releases any of them. He doesn't put them onto the internet, he just makes them and then immediately abandons them and they sit on his computer forever. Un and I think he really jeune. understood this image of himself as a recluse. Uh, at one point he jokingly renamed his computer's recycling bin to Important Games Folder. <laughs> so, you know, this was just how he worked. He tended to crank them out one after the other without even really pausing to try to understand what he had just made. Until suddenly one day, he just stopped. In 2011, that was it. He made his last game and then he hasn't made another one since. And that's why I've taken this opportunity to gather all of his work together. Is because I find his games powerful and interesting, and I'd like this collection to reach him, to maybe encourage him to start creating again. And if the people like you who play this also happen to find his work interesting, then I'm sure it'll just send that much stronger of a message of encouragement to Coda. Ah. So thanks for joining me on this. If you have a particular interpretation that I haven't mentioned here, or if you just need to get in touch, you can email me at d a v e y w r e d e n at gmail.com. Okay, that's about it for introduction. Let's take a look at Coda's first proper game. As each game is loading, I'll show you the date that it was completed. This first ah. one was made in November 2008. Cool. Donc c'est ça, finalement, on va jouer à travers les niveaux que son ami Koda a fait. Il fait de la narration par-dessus, je trouve ça le fun, ouais. Machine en murmure un petit peu. Ah. Belle ambiance de jeu. Escape from Whisper. And it's one of the more generic games you'll see from Koda. On va dépêcher avec tuer. Le son c'est important, hein? You can click to fire the gun. Non, on a pas besoin de tirer, y'a pas d'ennemis. Ah, pour l'instant peut-être. C'est pas de l'arme de push? It kind of looks like this game was abandoned mid-development. For instance, you have this gun, which you'd think would indicate that there are supposed to be monsters or enemies somewhere. But then clearly there are no enemies anywhere. Ah, you can't even reload the gun when you de... run out of bullets. But ultimately, we don't really know. Maybe Coda thought that actually it was complete the way that it is. And I think that we should talk about his games for what they are, rather than for what they're not. Enemy force neutralized. Begin shooting activation. Ah. 
Mais il a quand même réussi à faire une petite ambiance. <rire> C'est vrai, on peut voir le fond. <rire> Entrer à la source aussi. Sur scène Jane, qui à l'époque c'était. Petit labyrinthe ici, non Ah ouais. Apparently, this space station has a labyrinth on it. Yeah, oui. I, uh, sure, I don't know. It's correct, Koda, je suis content. There's really no that I've ever been able to discern, so in the interest of time, I'm just gonna skip you on past it. <laughs> C'est bon. Je trouve ça intéressant quand même le faire. Okay, this is the part that's interesting. The game has this narrative about the whisper machine and how it has to be turned off, and then you get to the engine room. Hey. On a le choix de se sacrifier en même temps tout le monde meurt mais j'imagine que le temps il ira pas hein, d'avoir rien d'autre on a pas se sacrifier vraiment Ressources Ah c'est bon ça. Ah c'est visuellement le fun en tout cas. Ah puis un labyrinthe. The beam causes you to start floating. <rire> nice. And this is an important moment for him. Because yes, this is technically a glitch, but Coda identifies something human about it. Like how small it makes you feel in the face of this larger chaotic system. <rire> ouais. Or this floating could be the afterlife, a peaceful place juxtaposed against all of the hysteria that you've just had to traverse. I, I don't even know. Uh, I have no idea what he was thinking, but what's clear is that after making this, something lodges itself in his brain. He wants to do more of these really weird and experimental designs. So he stops work on this and moves on to a stream of tiny little games that go in all sorts of directions. Let's go ahead and take a look at the first game he made after leaving this one behind. Ah, celui-là, elle avait fait de quand même, faire un petit niveau papier. Ouh, très source aussi. <rire> J'aime ça. Le passé était derrière elle. Est-ce que je suis bugué? Yep. In this game, you can only walk backwards. Ah, j'avais pas compris. Ah, c'est cool. Le passé était derrière elle. Pour reculer. Mais so on, it's a short and relatively minimalist experiment combining motion and narrative. <laughs> it is less advanced than the oh non, previous bon. game, but Pourquoi actually it seems to be more focused and more complete. Code is trying to give it a unique voice rather than simply basing it on a pre-existing Tout devient plus clair. Quand on observe un phénomène aléatoire, c'est ce qui arrive aussi. Mais si le futur est toujours derrière elle, comment trouve-t-elle la force de l'affronter C'est presque effrayant, bro. It's a short little thought. It says what it wants to say and then it ends. Didn't need anything more than that. Which to me is why it works because it gets out quick. Okay, next one. Oh, le même moi. Si on peut avancer par en avant. Un jeu d'horreur, on peut pas aller sur les côtés. Parfait. Vous allez entrer. Jusque là c'est bon. And that's it. Ok, the meaning of this game won't be clear just <rire> okay. yet. Please be patient with me for a few more games and I promise you'll see what makes it interesting. Pas de problème, je vais être patient des vies. Y'a pas de soucis. Un mois plus tard, on est rendu en décembre 2008. Oftentimes, Koda would put bizarre titles like this one at the start of his games. Absurdité. I wish I'd known him at the time that he was making these early games. 
he would really only talk to me about his work as he was making it. Once he stopped work on a game, like, that was it. It was dead to him. And I don't agree with that at all, but what are you gonna do? Très à source aussi. Sans escalier classique, on adore. Ah, puis plus c'est haut, plus ça ralentit. Once you've been slowed to an absolute crawl, the door at the top of the stairs opens. So why, if code is not showing these games to anyone, why bother opening the door at all? <laughs> well, to show you, I'm modifying the game here so that when you press enter, it'll bring you back up to full speed so you can enter the door for yourself. Parfait. Donc on était super ralenti. Rester sur une X en observant un ours pendant 3 heures. Le jeu uniquement fait de notes de citations qui s'affichent les unes après les autres alors que le joueur ne peut pas bouger. Un jeu un normal. Un jeu warm and nice and filled with little ideas for games. Lisez les courriels d'un ennemi pour Koda découvrir comment le vaincre. Koda would often tell me that he didn't mind if people thought of him as cold or distant. He said that he knew that he was actually a vibrant and compassionate oh, person. Oh damn, ça c'est rough. But that it takes time to really see la reine qui dépoussière ses bijoux pendant qu'on détruit un royaume. <rire> c'est bon ceci, j'aime ça. <rire> Une série de gros manuels qui fournit avec le jeu. Qui vous donne de mauvaises instructions sur la façon de jouer. Bon genre de jeu ça. Non non, je vais toutes les lire. À vos marques prêts pêcher. Je sais pas que c'est un jeu d'horreur, parce que des jeux d'horreur avec la pêche, je suis plus capable. Ça me terrorise maintenant. C'est peut-être un mauvais traduction pour pêcher, puis c'est peut-être sin. Pêcher. Euh... Well, this is new for Coda. It's an actual puzzle. Go ahead and see if you can solve it. Et l'autre d'un coin. Une porte en bois dans une salle comme ça. J'ai peut-être la solution. J'imagine que c'est ça. Ah, le vrai levier là. Don't forget that solution because we're going to see this puzzle again soon. We're going to see it a lot. Mais j'ai rien contre ça, ce genre de puzzle-là, moi. Ça peut penser à Telos Principal ou justement à cette année parabole. So that seems to be it, right? You walk down a corridor, you solve a puzzle, you get to the end. Simple enough. Alright, now I'm going to modify the game again, so that when you press enter, it'll remove all of the walls from this room. Parfait. <laughs> How about that? There was more to it than we had any way of knowing. I actually find it funny that this game comes after the stairs game since they essentially convey the opposite idea. So, uh, in the stairs game, a dull exterior concealed a rich interior. And then, in this level, a dull interior hides this fantastic outer world. Either way, I think that the point is the same is that most of the time you don't get to know what you're missing, or even that you're missing anything. That's not your role as a player. So if your role here is not to understand, then what is it? Très beau. Oh damn! Ce jeu là encore. On peut aller encore au chat droite? Non. Pour reculer. On avance. On est en juillet. Vous allez sortir. Uh -huh. So, this, combined with the entering game from earlier, tells us that Coda believes his games are connected somehow. It could even be that the stairs game and the puzzle game are literally connected in between this and the entering game. There's a bigger picture that all of his games are meant to play a role in, some larger meaning that we won't be able to grasp until we've seen all of them. And once we have, we can step back, 
and start to understand what exactly that bigger picture is. Gros-moi plus tard maintenant. La grande et belle descente. Un jeu de ski? Ah, c'est une station de ski. Let's talk about video game development for a second. Every video game runs on what's called an engine, which ouais. determines what the game can and cannot do. So in other words, the Clairement, engine, engine is a source. set of tools for game development. Engine de source, mais il refait sur, euh, to make all of these games, Coda is using an engine called Source. Évidemment, source. Like all engines, Source has certain things that it does well, and it has certain things that it does poorly. One of the things that it does very well is boxy linear corridors. Oui, comme dans That's Flight, why Portal. so many of Coda's games are set in these large, flat, empty rooms, is just because he's working with what the engine does well. Ooh. Ooh. The tools available to the creator shape what kinds of creative work they're going to end up doing. Okay. You might consider paying a salle de bain pour un café. Notice how they seem to stem from an engine that's very good at producing bébé. linear boxy corridors. Après, je vais le rouvrir, monsieur. On va aller ici. Parfait. Au fond, la cuisine, la porte, est-ce qu'elle s'ouvre Je vais aller vérifier. Je suis désolé. Quand même avec ce genre de, de truc là. Ah, très source aussi. Cube comme ça. Beau. Oui. Je sais pas si y a un ordre particulier honnêtement. Oh, il y avait tellement du jump, euh, du bunny up, des trucs comme ça dans Source. C'est la belle époque, ça aussi. Tant mieux qu'il n'y ait pas de dégâts de chute, par exemple. Ce serait un petit calvaire. Est-ce que le but, c'est juste de tomber? On peut pas courir contrairement à Source, par exemple. Il y a quelque chose au fond. Ah, une belle et grande descente. Ça se passe à une station de ski, mais la descente est sous la station de ski. Ok, c'est bon, j'aime l'idée, ça m'a gagné. Ça, c'est une lumière entourée de verre. Pas de problème. de cacher ici. Pas de problème. C'est un enclos? C'est un jeu d'horreur. Ah oui, c'est un jeu d'horreur. Je suis du bétail. Ça va m'écraser au plafond? This prison. Funny enough, in Coda's original design, the door stayed shut for a full hour before letting you go. <laughs> If you don't mind, I think we're gonna skip that. Une heure complète fermée. Ah, je suis pas allé là. Pas de problème. This is something that he and I used to argue about a lot. You know, whether a game ought to actually be playable, whether hey. it means anything if no one can get through it. And I would always defend that, you know, all this work goes into the game, why not make it playable and accessible? And so we just got into heated arguments over it, and there was one time that after one of these conversations, he went home, and a day or two later, he sent me a zip file entitled Playable Games <laughs> that was full of hundreds of individual games, each of which was just an empty box that you walked around in <laughs> and nothing else. I played every single one of those just to find out if there was like a gag hidden somewhere. There wasn't. Mais honnêtement, Assemblance, le jeu d'énigme qui est en linéaire comme ça, ultra difficile honnêtement, mais j'ai Dieu de adorer, mais tellement compliqué. Le premier, ça avait pris des mois avant que quelqu'un réussisse à faire la solution, puis le deuxième, ça a pris aussi genre... Euh, je pense que quelqu'un qui est allé voir le code source, près de 8 mois, une affaire du genre. Compliqué. 
Mais moi j'adore. Je pense pas que. C'est parce que c'est un jeu vidéo. Puis comme le vidéo est un art, le jeu aussi. C'est pas obligé d'être accessible pour tout le monde non plus. Mais c'est sûr que si on veut payer le loyer, faut que ce soit accessible. It's the puzzle again. With the exact same solution as the last time. There's still no clear indication of what makes this puzzle so special that Coda is going to return to it over and over. Je pense que je le comprends. I promise, I'll share with you my interpretation very shortly. C'est le fun de devoir s'enfermer comme solution. La solution, c'est de bloquer le passage pour revenir en arrière. C'est ça, une vraie progression, non Je sais pas. Je dis ça comme ça. begins using a kind of dialogue system that he fashioned out of the engine's chat capabilities. Use the one, two, three buttons on your keyboard to respond. <laughs> Avez-vous dû résoudre une énigme avec deux portes et des leviers? Non, je vais répondre honnêtement. Je ne sais pas comment je l'ai résolu, je sais, je m'en rappelle pas. Je n'ai pas résolu, on m'a laissé rentrer, je veux dire ça. Mais c'est sûr, tu peux pas tu peux pas sortir de là. J'adore l'idée, par exemple. Voyons, Koda, pourquoi tu fais plus de jeu? <rire> C'est ça ton genre de jeu, je veux jouer, moi. Tiens, on va essayer de répondre non, je suis ici pour toujours, depuis toujours. Je vous conseille d'étudier cette énigme un jour, il ne s'agit pas de la résoudre, mais vous pouvez vous asseoir dans l'espace sombre du milieu. Qu'est-ce qui se passe si je la résous On pourrait s'échapper, c'est ça Vous aurez une autre chance de la résoudre bientôt. Pas de problème. C'est une autre salle d'identification Et donc, nous faisons une dernière descente, down to the final floor of the level. Ah, c'est une ville! Ah, c'est notre monde! Ah, c'est excellent! It's a lamp post. Okay, I can't tell you quite why, but for some reason, Coda fixates on this lamp post. It's going to appear at the end of every single one of his games from here on out. Il faudra qu'il trouve beau. I'll tell you what I think. Uh, I think that up to this point, you know, he's been making really strange and abstract games with no clear purpose. And maybe you can only float around in that headspace for so long. Because now he wants something to hold on to. He wants a reference point. He wants the work to be leading to something. He wants a destination. Which is what this lamppost is. It's a destination. Ouais, une icône. We're going to see it in the work as well. His games are just going to become a lot more cohesive, a lot more fully developed, with more of a clear idea behind them. And as we go, that idea will get clearer and clearer and clearer. Je me sais comme idée, par exemple. Ce jeu est connecté à Internet. En marchant, vous pouvez laisser des notes. Dark Souls, en somme. Toutes ces notes sont celles d'autres joueurs. Il ouais, y en a eu plusieurs. Euh, J'aime ça. En plus, c'est le deuxième jeu qu'on est fixé comme ça par le, la, la réalité. 
Jolie sale note. <rire> So first off, I'm sure you can deduce this, but this game is not connected to the internet. All of the notes that you're going to see have been written by Coda. Ah, this sûr. was actually the first game of his that I ever played. This was shortly after I met him at a weekend game jam in Sacramento, where I grew up. I saw him working on this very level, and it was just so different from anything that anyone else was doing. So right away I was like, I have to be friends with this person. In retrospect, I think I was probably a bit too pushy trying to get his attention. Uh, I was over enthusiastic, but he was very gracious about it and very patient with me. Ooh. And I cooled off eventually. Okay, Dead Stranding. And so. Reasonable. Oh, feel free to skip over any of these notes if they're not doing anything for you. Nothing extra is going to happen if you read all of them. Either way, to me they convey a sense of loneliness. I see this person who's filled with thoughts and feelings and beliefs and has no way to express them except as scattered and unheard voices in a game that wasn't meant to be played. But it's ironic, isn't it, that in playing this game and seeing how alone Coda often felt, that okay. we get to know him better and actually kind of connect with him. And I have to be honest with you, this idea is really seductive to me. That I could just play someone's game and see the voices in their head and, and get to know them better and have to do less of the messy in-person socializing. I could just get to know you through your work. I think this is why I always liked Coda's games so much, is because it felt like they let me have that connection. I felt as though he was inviting me personally into his world, and then I feel less lonely too. C'est vrai que le message sort un peu déprimant. Je refuse de croire. Fesse qui fesse, c'est mon genre de message. Je dois aller dans cette foutue salle de bain. Reconnaissez-moi, s'il vous plaît. Il n'y a rien ici, faites demi-tour. N'écoutez pas ce type. Classique Dark Souls, ceci. aussi. T-shirt gratuit. De... Je veux l'autre côté. Pour... Porte, pourquoi es-tu ainsi Très Elden Ring, cette salle-là. Hein? Il doit avoir un truc qui est marqué euh... chien à côté d'une tortue. Ne pas ouvrir la porte. Make game. How to open door. Un jour, je rencontrerai la personne qui a fait ça. J'aide les gens à cause des bonnes sensations personnelles que j'en tire. Il n'y a pas grand monde par ici. Et laisse tomber. <rire> Vouloir parler puis avoir rien à dire. Le chou forme notre nation. Ouais. Très bon jeu. <rire> Je ferai mieux la prochaine fois. Je ne suis pas en sécurité. Est-ce que ça va, l'anxiété? Contempler l'art. Je me sens on a des chuchotements en arrière aussi. Je me sentirais peut-être vrai un jour. Bon sang. At the end of this level, we're going to see the puzzle again. And here, I'll tell you what I think the puzzle means. Each of these games represents an idea that was on Coda's mind at the time that he was making it. And the puzzle sais, is a way of closing the door chemins. on a previous chapter of his life before moving on to the next one. Ah, In each of his games, after exploring a theme that, you know, he might find difficult, Coda can then place this puzzle that he knows has a reliable solution, he understands exactly how it works, 
and so it gives him a simple mechanism for moving on. Alive. And because there's this dark area between the doors, a space between spaces, before you move on, you get to pause. Just for a moment, a few seconds to reflect on and let go of the events that led you here. To step back and connect the pieces together. To grasp at that elusive bigger picture. It's fun, the shot man, right? When we're in the dark. Is that what the other said earlier? Oh, well, it's important, man. The other shot man, he's crazy. des machines à écrire. Damn. Bon ça. C'est pas stressant ça. Mais juin 2009. Les stars du okay, porno meurent aussi. It's gonna kinda just spin its own wheels for a few minutes. Hang with it. Ok. Comme vous êtes prévenu, celui-là est difficile. Une petite porte. Ouh. musique en trois notes le petit sol de source encore see like this is it the whole game and there's nothing that's particularly interesting about it you just walk to the end of a hallway except for some reason Cody gets really fixated on this prison that has all of this modern furniture and I don't know why but he decides he needs to revisit this prison he's gonna start over use the same assets turn it into something else okay cool here's version 2 On descend de volume juste une petite shot. Ok, les meubles sont rendus transparents. Hmm. <rire> TV, système surround, réfrigérateur. Ouh, j'ai un dans le sol. C'est la table. On met quoi sur les murs? Un énorme pousseur de cheval, une machine à laver, 10 fourneaux bien alignés. Pousseur de cheval. Honnêtement, on dirait le début des vieilles chansons de Daft Punk. Une verrière de la terre, un plafond vert, faut ouvrir tout ça. Je pense à un plafonnier électrique encastré. Bobine Tesla à chaque angle. Une table. La table fut inventée en 1935. On va y dire quand même, j'ai l'impression que vous ne tenez pas compte de mes réponses. There's a bit more to this one, but still, it's not really communicating anything. It's kind of just weird for weirdness' sake. Un labyrinthe. Je préférais l'autre avant. Avec le puits. So okay, he throws it out and starts over. This time he comes at the prison idea from a different direction. Ce guide vous permettra de chercher n'importe quelle prison. Suivez bien les instructions, faites en sorte de vous rappeler de chaque étape. Cliquez sur cette table. Avancez avec le cadre de la photo et orientez-vous légèrement sur la droite. Comme ça. C'est ça. Éteignez la lampe sur pied et rallumez-la. 
J'ai peur de faire ça aussi. Le canapé de gauche, déplacer le un petit peu. Enfin, toucher les étagères. On dirait, je sais pas si vous savez de quoi je parle, mais le monde qui marquait des notes dans les dictionnaires au secondaire en disant va à la page 637, quand la page 637 il dit va à telle place. Dans une vraie prison, il va y avoir une évasion. Revenez au départ pour qu'on vous ramène dans votre prison. C'est drôle. Ah, And of course, now the table is gone and you can't begin the chain of events to escape. <laughs> Hold on. Here's a version where there are no bars, but you can't actually get to the well. And then a version where the inside of the prison is the outside and the outside is the inside. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just blink you real quick through a few more of these. I mean, he really unloaded on this prison idea. There's nearly <laughs> no... <laughs> Personally, I think it's awful to watch this. To see a person basically unraveling through their work. And for what? Like, at what point do you just go, eh, maybe there are game ideas other than this prison that I could be working on. But Coda doesn't have that voice telling you to stop, that particular mechanism of defense against yourself. Without it, you just spiral. And so he keeps going and going and going and going and going, and then he hits on something. And he likes it. And that's it. He's done. He stops making prisons. <laughs> This is the very last version of the prison game that he created. And the reason I think it works is that the prison is not actually in it. Version ultime de prison, numéro 57. Je veux savoir combien il y en a fait justement. Il y a plus de salon maintenant pour la prison? Le jeu et la prison en fait. Très horreur. J'aime bien. Allô? Qui t'a l'appareil? Je suis vous après votre évasion de prison. Vous êtes moi? Alors, vous aussi, vous étiez en cette prison. It's a conversation. And so, this is what Coda wants, is to be able to talk to someone, to share what's on his mind, and to get some good advice from someone who knows. But the irony is that even in this scenario, you're still talking to yourself. You know, all of these games so far are Coda talking to himself. All right. Si c'était déjà comme si c'était jamais arrivé. Tabarouette les textes. On n'oublie pas, on arrête simplement de s'identifier. Oui, j'ai reçu un appel, c'est parce que j'ai pu m'enfuir. On m'a juste parlé un petit moment. Vous allez comprendre, si on va rester énigmatique. Discutons un instant. Je serai ici tant que vous aurez besoin. I can see why he considers this a fitting conclusion to the prison games. After all of the obsession and frustration, just to be told by someone you can trust that things are going to be okay. Wouldn't that be nice? Ouais. 
à août 2009. Bientôt un an. So what would it look like if Coda wanted to make a game about talking to someone other than himself? To me, this environment is meant to represent Coda's puzzle, with the two doors on either side and a dark transitional space between. C'est vrai, celle-là c'est sombre, c'est illuminé avec la porte, mais on a plus envie d'être ici. C'est beau par exemple. Même si honnêtement, ces NPC font peur. Est-ce que dans le fond, c'est pas lui qui a fait Talos Principle Coda, je parle. Nettoyer. Je croyais que j'allais devoir nettoyer les maisons toutes seules. Ça a été vraiment malheureux. Tout le monde sait que les solitaires ont des maisons minables. Mais oui, non. You'll notice that the quality of the art is a step up from previous games, including this new and improved chat system, which he started using from this point on. From here on out, he begins putting much more effort into the visual polish of his work, and this particular game took two months to create as a result. Deux mois pour faire ça. Très cosy, honnêtement. Étrange, je suis dans une vallée, par exemple. Salle de main des maîtres, pas de reflet. Salle de main communicante. On va aller faire le lit. Aucun problème, on va mettre le tapis comme il faut. Même si c'est pas droit. Qu'est-ce qui vous, vous a poussé à choisir ce travail Je peux mettre de l'or en tes livres aussi Juste faire les livres, ça doit être tellement long. Quelques démons que j'ose pas affronter. En parlant de démons, quelqu'un a laissé le canapé dans une drôle d'être. Tiens, on va placer ça. On va placer le verre du salon. Je dois partager avec vous une idée personnelle d'une incroyable banalité, ça vous dérange pas? Soyez le plus banal possible. Il n'y aura aucun problème. Non. Ok. C'est stupide, désolé. Tant pis. problème, ça va me faire plaisir. C'est vrai ça. Pas besoin que ce soit parfait, on est juste des humains. Ah oh, yes, on va pouvoir replacer les livres de l'étagère. Ça me fait du bien ça. Ah, une belle bibliothèque. After the intense set of prison games, this house cleaning level almost feels like cleansing. It's the moment after a particularly difficult or traumatic experience where you just need to let it sit and digest inside of you, and eventually cohere into something meaningful. this game. Of all of his work, actually, this was the only one that he called me up to ask me to come over and look at it. This was during a period of a few months where he was, like, grossly happy all the time, just walked around with a constant smile on his face. On fait ça en Peut-être que Koda avait commencé à avoir un psychologue. La maison de quelqu'un est à l'image de son homme. Si on va y aller pour euh, le chemin de la compassion. Donc, 
Il le ménage, on va continuer les livres. Ce qu'elle veut pas, c'est ça, travailler sur soi. C'est le travail de maintenance. De mettre ça propre. On doit faire les mêmes choses. But of course, it can't last. The music stops, your companion is gone, it's time to leave. The door okay. at the top of the hill is now open as well. Ah. Again, you can't stay in the dark space for too long. You just can't. You have to keep moving. It's how you stay alive. Ah. Notre ami de lampadaire. Which is the whole point of the puzzle doors, right? That sooner or later you have to pick up and move. I really thought that was the point of it. Des articles pour vous à des prix réservés aux membres. Ah, dans le fun, ça. De l'université. Pourquoi est-ce qu'on est venu aujourd'hui? Meilleur travail, améliorer sa vie, donner plus de sens à vos relations. Non. Vous êtes venu pour devenir parfaite. Un atelier pour savoir comment devenir parfaite. Cette personne est un être humain plus valable que moi. Dans l'immédiat, à qui pensez-vous en ces termes dans votre propre vie? Quelle est la personne que vous connaissez qui est si évoluée qu'elle vous dégoûte de vous-même? La personne comparée à qui vous vous sentez inutile, égoïste, ingrate. J'ai l'intention de faire de vous cette personne. La perfection est à votre portée. Moi, bon, c'est pas grave. On n'a pas besoin d'être parfait dans la vie. Juste d'être fier de ce qu'on fait, puis de donner notre meilleur. Car notre meilleur, c'est pas assez. C'est la vie. Oh, damn. Et on peut pas dire les autres trucs. And suddenly, you discover that your teacher is just as bigoted and afraid as you are. Écoutez-moi bien, oh, si vous devez faire des efforts, c'est nous qui nous plus. Ah. Il n'y a rien, il nous suit partout où est-ce qu'on veut, c'est ça? On peut se promener ici, mais pas trop loin. Être seul doit être affreux. Boire ne nuit pas à ma santé. J'ai un kyste qui pousse, c'est dégoûtant. <rire> je plaisante. Quelqu'un veut prendre de l'ecstasy après ça On va dire ah <rire> je plaisante. Et si je n'étais pas un bon professeur On va dire ça. Ça vient sur vous, ça va vous détruire. I felt pretty hard for this one. I feel like it's one of the most relatable experiences that you can have. To uh, assume that some other person is perfect and totally fulfilled in every way and completely miss all of the little flaws that make them painfully human. I think about yeah, this right. game a lot these days. Faut pas oublier que les profs, c'est des êtres humains aussi. This one took a lot longer than all the others for Coda to make. It was four months between this and the last one. That's twice as long as it took him to make any other game before this. And it's not like it's particularly complex. So I remember I found that a little strange at the time. Ils sont sur scène? Oh, c'est une belle scène. Ah, c'est même l'intro de Beginner's Guide. Damn, j'ai fait un saut. Ouf. Dans cette scène, vous incarnez mon personnage. Je vous sonne à une assemblée de professionnels. Ah, c'est ce mur-là. Vous 
Vous rêvez de devenir photographe animalière professionnelle, c'est l'occasion d'apprendre quelque chose, qu'elle vous apporte quelque chose, l'occasion de réussir. Allez, dis-tu quelque chose. Bonjour. Très critique, madame. Ou monsieur. Vous devez véritablement discuter avec elle comme un être humain et recommencer. J'ai à peu près sûr que la majorité des êtres humains qui se connaissent pas, ouais. J'ai très très peur, là. Voici tous mes espoirs et mes rêves. Vous voyez avec ça. Vous passez complètement à côté du ton de la conversation. J'étais réservé, mais je savais ce que je voulais. J'avais confiance en moi. Je ne sais pas pourquoi, c'était un de mes instants particuliers, mais j'avais confiance en moi. Peut-être avez-vous besoin de mieux sentir l'atmosphère. Il y avait beaucoup de monde autour de nous. Ah, on joue le rôle de lui. C'est ça. Parlez de lui à nouveau. Je peux-tu m'approcher? Sage, heureux, concentré, prospère. Je parie que vous avez réussi parce que vous avez beaucoup souffert. Mais non, c'est pas si pire ça. Une chance pareille ne se présente pas deux fois, tout reposer là-dessus. Pour devenir photographe animalier? Il est pas trop tard, Koda. Ah, oh, c'est le lampadaire. Il représente-tu la fin du niveau? On est enfermé. Ah. The game ends with this theory premonition of what's going to happen next in Coda's life. The solution to social anxiety, to fears of having to perform and having to chase success, the answer for Coda is to withdraw, to hide himself away. Which is what leads to scenarios like the stairs that slowed you down several games ago, where it just becomes harder and harder to access Coda's inner landscape because he keeps retreating. He just keeps backing away from possible connections to anyone other than himself. And to be honest, I didn't consider it very healthy when I first played this game. You know, it, it looked to me like he was trying to justify the idea of just disconnecting yourself from the world. And that wasn't what I wanted for him or for his games. Because I feel like a lot of his games are inviting me to connect. To connect with this person. To bring him closer. But what can you do? After this, Koda went off and took another five months to make a new game. Damn. Est-ce que ça se passe bien pour Koda, Davy, s'il te plaît? Ruban de Morbius. Pour jouer à ce jeu comme il faut, vous devez garder les yeux fermés. Cliquez pour commencer à jouer. Oh, j'en ai joué un comme ça. Est-ce que je suis censé ouvrir les yeux pour vrai? Ah, je suis probablement censé ouvrir les yeux ou quelque chose du genre. Qu'est-ce qui se passe-t-il? Vous devriez probablement ouvrir vos yeux si vous n'avez pas déjà. C'est presque impossible de résoudre autrement. Et il y a une solution, par exemple. Ah, il y a un deck, on est en haut. La seule façon d'arrêter ça est de dire quelque chose d'honnête. Ok. Ah, ça peut être au secours qu'il faut dire peut-être. Je n'arrive plus à les faire. Ah, c'est lui la vérité. Like I said, I was getting concerned. 
First off, he's never been this explicit in his work about exactly what he's thinking. So where's that coming from? But then even weirder, his work has potentially stopped being an outlet for him. Not like he's having trouble iterating on ideas, but he literally just can't think of new ideas anymore. And in person, he was being a lot more distant than usual. Like, you know how sometimes a person will just deflect anything that you say in order to keep themselves disconnected all the time? It was that kind of thing. Here was the point in my relationship with Koda where I really started to wonder if he needed my help in some way. Bon, elle est pour je n'arrive pas à trouver comment dire la chose. Mais c'est pas si mal. S'il se parle comme ça puis qu'il se remonte, j'imagine que ça se passe bien, non? His games are going to get more desperate from here on out. After this game, it's almost six months before he finishes something new. Ça fait déjà deux ans? Est-ce que deux ans? Non, deux ans. Il y a quelqu'un? Ah! L'autre il a disparu. Je n'ai plus rien à donner dans mon travail. J'essaie de trouver ce moteur qui me protégeait pour le redémarrer. Il y avait une machine qui me faisait avancer. Elle s'est arrêtée. Hmm. Je cherchais une machine, je crois savoir où elle est. Ce n'est pas loin. Je dois l'avoir pour savoir pourquoi elle s'est arrêtée. If the last game featured Coda talking explicitly about his creative frustrations, this one turns it up to 11. Now, put yourself in my shoes. Here's a friend whose work is exhibiting signs of struggle, frustration, anxiety, depression, even. And yet, still, he keeps making games. He keeps throwing himself into the grinder even when he clearly doesn't have the energy for it anymore. Why? What is it for? Ça marche. Belle citoyenne. Suivez-moi. Because, from my perspective at the time, and and just what I knew of him, this was a result of how isolated he was. He was in his <laughs> own little bubble, just sitting at his computer all day, not really showing these games to anyone, uh, not releasing them onto the internet, and so. He didn't have anyone outside of himself to connect with. He had no outlet to ground himself on. Ooh. Bon, on est pas intérieur, c'est vrai. Ce serait plus simple comme ça. Il faut ouvrir la porte. Il faut fermer la première porte. ouvrir la deuxième porte. You can't talk yourself out of loneliness. It doesn't work that way. You can't be the one writing both the questions and the answers. Then there's no movement. Then there's no circulation. 
If all of your anxieties are being channeled into your work, then if the work ever fails, you have no backup and you're just going to crash. La personne qui a de la misère à, à respirer, incroyable. Pas du tout stressant. Faites-moi confiance, vous allez voir, vous devez dire que votre travail est amusant et facile. Vous devez dire que le développement de jeu est simple et joyeux et que vous adorez ça en permanence. Faire des jeux c'est facile. Mais ce n'est pas vrai. Continue juste à parler, continue à dire que créer est facile. C'est facile, c'est tout le temps facile. C'est pas le genre de mot qu'il faut dire en plus. C'est vrai que ça n'a pas ça. Et si ça l'aide tant mieux. I hated seeing him so trapped. It's like video games are not worth this amount of suffering. This is someone I really cared about. And I used to get so much joy out of seeing him create. For him to suddenly become angry and frustrated like this, it was the worst thing for me. Mais c'est quelque chose que j'ai fait pour mon travail en toujours value free. C'est bon ça. I don't know. This is what I felt at the time. I don't know how else to explain it. Je peux comprendre, c'est sûr que c'est stressant. I wanted it to stop more than anything. I had never felt so rotten. I just I needed more than I had ever needed anything for this to stop. Ah, ça prend fou qu'il y a un personnage avec une tête. personnage femme qui pleure dans la prison qui avait été fait. After finishing this one, Coda takes another 7 months and comes up with a new game. Mai 2011. C'est déjà 11 ans. La machine. C'est bien que vous soyez parvenu jusqu'ici. On a capturé la machine, elle vous attend. Je vais rester calme. Quelqu'un a prévenu la presse, l'affaire pourrait faire du bruit. La machine se fait appeler Coda. Ah, C'est la presse. On est une femme. On va interroger G Koda. Ah. And of course, it's the machine. Vos travaux nous maintenaient en vie. Bon ça. Ces gens dehors, imaginez-vous les souffrances que vous leur infligez. Ce sont vos créations qui nous donnaient la force de continuer chaque jour. Hmm. C'est des menaces, c'est de la sœur sans être coupable. Vous allez avouer ces gens, vous les avez laissés sourire. J'ai été si seul. Excusez-vous de m'avoir abandonné. Il s'en coupe avant son travail. C'est un artiste. J'ai vu ce qui vous effraie. L'échec. La déception. Je vais aller m'excuser de votre part auprès de ces gens. Encore source, hein? Mes disciples. 
J'ai une inquiétante révélation à vous faire. La machine refuse d'admettre qu'elle nous a fait du mal délibérément. Bon, mais c'est pas, pas délibéré en même temps, c'est ça. Mais c'est sans importance, nous sommes plus forts qu'elle ne le pense. Nous trouverons un moyen de vivre sans elle. Nous allons lui montrer que nous ne sommes pas des ratés. Les deux sont pas super. J'ai pas envie de détruire ni Koda ni sa création. On va quand même détruire Koda. Ah, c'est le théâtre encore. Hop, je suis seul. Ah, c'est le gun du premier jeu. Remember, you can click to fire the gun. Ah. So now the work is becoming self-destructive. And I'll tell you, at the time that I first played this game, shortly after he made it, here's what I'm thinking to myself. I'm thinking that Code is stuck in his own head, and that it's having a very negative effect on him, and that all he needs to do is just start showing his work to people. To get some actual feedback on his games, it might ouais. get him out of isolation. Ouais. And so, as I'm thinking this, I realize that I could be the one to initiate it. Because it would never occur to Coda to start actively soliciting feedback, so what if I did it for him? If he could see the difference it would make to have more actual conversations with other human beings, would that bring him out of his mental spiral? Would it give him confidence in himself? Would it bring meaning back into his work? Et si d'être tous ces prisons, c'est quand même pas si mal. So I started showing Coda's work to people. I took this one and the islands which you just played, the theater, the notes, the house cleaning game and some of the prison escape games. I brought them to people that I knew and trusted. I asked their opinions. And the great part is that they really loved his games. You know, the point of it all is just to give them some external reference points. C'est début ça, non? They, they genuinely loved his work. There was nothing for him to be afraid of. Est-ce que je peux lancer mon arme comme dans Counter Strike avec G? J'imagine qu'il faut que je tire dessus. Can you see why I felt like this was the right thing to do? Because it's the thing that I always feel like I need to be told that my work is good, that I am good. When when someone really connects with a thing that I've made, when they see themselves purely in my work, there's nothing that feels better. And I got to give that very same feeling to my friend. I did something. I really felt like I'd done something good, like. Like I was a good person. I felt like there was a friend who was in trouble and was unhappy and and maybe didn't like themselves and I could fix it. If I could give him this gift, maybe I could fix the problem. When they told me how much they enjoyed his games, it was the best feeling. It's the absolute best feeling. It, it made me feel so happy. So beautifully beautifully happy. Intense. So anyway, Coda finishes this game, and then really he just kind of takes off for a while. So this is June of 2011, and I didn't hear anything from him for several weeks, I guess. Um, and so out of nowhere, one day I get an email, 
and it's got a private link to a new game of CODAs. This one is called The Tower, and to my knowledge, it's the last game that CODA ever made. So let's take a look. And this is where I have trouble saying anything meaningful about Coda's work. Because more than anything else, the tower just feels distant. It feels Necessary. like it's trying to distance itself from the world. It's a very cold game. This room actually has a maze in it. Except that all the walls of the maze are invisible. And then every time you touch one of the walls, there's this awful flashing and noise. So the experience uh. is really miserable. The game goes beyond not being meant to be played. It actually seems to despise the player for trying to play it at all. But I do uh. want to show you the rest of the level. So when you're ready to continue, press enter and I'll put a bridge over the maze. Pas de problème. Je pense que ça va être mieux. <laughs> Merci. Et en source, le, le pont aussi. And to be fair, it's not like this is the first game that's needed some modification to be playable. Like the house cleaning game. You know, that one used to actually loop the cleaning chores and you just cleaned a house forever. I had to cut it off so that you could exit the house and the game would actually end. But that game had an idea that it was actually trying to communicate. What's the deeper idea behind the invisible maze? Ouais, le but du labyrinthe c'est clairement d'être désagréable. Oh, c'est fun ça. Like the invisible maze, it's frustrating to me because it's the opposite of everything else that Coda has made. It doesn't encourage thought or engagement. It doesn't ask anything of me except a lot of my time. If I could have reached him during this time, then maybe I could have asked him, but I couldn't. I still don't really understand why this is here. I'll put the code table. on the ground for you here, though, so that we can move on. J'étais loin. On avait une chance sur un million. Non, il y a neuf chiffres, neuf exposants, six. Pour revenir en arrière. Ah oui, il y a dix, un million. Euh, ouais, c'est presque un million en fait. Non, un million, je sais plus. C'est un 15, 16, 17, ok. Mais à ce moment-là, j'imagine que Coda lui faisait un peu juste pour euh, Davy, ce jeu-là. J'espère quand même qu'il s'amuse à les faire. The switch to open this door is actually on the other side of the door, meaning that it's literally impossible <laughs> to solve from this side. So even if you somehow brute forced your way through the first two challenges and you got to this point, there's actually just no way to progress. And it's scary for me, the idea of Koda cutting himself off entirely, just saying, you know, that's it, that's the end of the conversation, not giving me any way to fix the problem. I feel like a failure, I guess, when I can't. Fix the problem. No matter. But I can open this door for you, so let me do that. Merci. Was I a failure <laughs> for not understanding this game? I mean, I don't know why I would be. It's not like everything needs to have a solution, but I feel it somehow. I feel like I failed, and I don't understand why. I remember, it's June of 2011. I'm playing this for the very first time, and as I'm playing, I'm thinking to myself, I don't know this person. I have no idea who this person is. It wasn't the guy I knew, it wasn't my friend. 
I had come to so many conclusions from looking at all of his work up to this point, and then suddenly none of them... I had been trying to, though. That was the thing. For years I was trying to get to know him, to understand who he actually was and, and what he stood for. I asked him so many times to please just tell me what his games mean to him. I asked him please to tell me what the three dots mean. And he wouldn't. Hey, il y avait trop au point des autres salles. Mais je pense que trop au point c'est pas comme en maths quand tu marques c'est ce qu'il fallait démontrer. I just felt so strongly that if I could have connected with him, that if I could have somehow made his work my own, that I would finally be once and for all happy. It was that I needed to see myself in someone else. I needed to be someone other than me. But he stopped and left. And it felt somehow like I had failed. Quelle ambiance quand même. Oh damn. I'm the reason that you stopped making games, aren't I? It's because of what I did. I poisoned it for you. C'est pas ta faute, Davy. Tout le monde est différent. I don't think I ever told you this, but when I took your work and I was showing it to people, it actually felt... <laughs> it felt as though I were responsible for something important and valuable. Je me demande parfois si tu n'es pas en train d'imaginer que je fais ces jeux pour toi, mais il y a un peu de ça, je pense, rendu là, non? And the people who played them They treated me like I was important. They really listened and cared about what I had to say. Even though I was showing your work, it was... I felt good about myself. Finally. For a moment, while I had that, I liked myself. Damn. J'ai jeté les lampadaires, mais c'est toi qui les mettais, non? En plus, c'est <rire> dramatique pour vrai qu'en plus, ils le mettent là, dans un jeu narratif. Je sais pas comment je me sens. Surtout si l'autre voulait pas que ce soit vu. Et puis, tu as stoppé. Et je n'avais pas encore de choses à montrer aux gens. J'ai juste eu de être avec moi-même. Et quand ça s'est passé, il n'y avait pas de sentiment. Rien. Plus que rien. Qu'est-ce que ça veut dire? Batailler pour trouver de nouvelles idées ne me déprime pas. Les coups de moins bien font partie du processus. Probablement les moins bons coups. Le fait que tu me crois frustré ou déprimé en dit plus long sur toi que sur moi. C'est vrai. Je vais quand même pas arrêter de démontrer aux gens. Je sais que tu n'as pas encore compris ce que ça voulait dire. Et très bien comme ça, tes problèmes ne sont pas les miens. J'espère que tu finiras par comprendre et que tu feras la paix avec les choses qui te tourmentent. Quand tu auras fini par comprendre de quoi je veux parler, ne dis plus rien. En fait, vous avez arrêté d'être amis? C'est triste. Ah, puis celle-là, il n'y aura pas un... de levier intérieur. On va juste s'enfermer. C'est génial, ça je pensais. C'est pourquoi je vais réaliser cette collection de votre travail. Is because I haven't been able to find any other way to reach you. I've tried everything. And so a part of me has hope that if I put this compilation out into the world, and if I put my name on it, that maybe enough people will play it so that it'll find its way to you, so that I can tell you that I'm sorry. I know I screwed up. If I apologize to you truly and deeply, will you start making games again? Please. I need to feel okay with myself again. And I always felt okay as long as I had your work to see myself in. I mean, is, is something wrong with me? Because I know that I did an awful thing, and I'm doing it again right now. Like, I'm, I'm showing people your work, but I What? can't stop myself from doing it. That's how badly I need to feel something again. Like, I'm an addict. 
There has to be something wrong with me. Can I apologize? What if I tell you I was wrong? Will that work? Will that fix it? I, I, I don't know. I don't think it will, but there's nothing else that I can do. Just tell me what you want. I'm I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please start making games again. Please help me. Please give me some of whatever it is that, that makes you complete. I want whatever that wholeness is that you just summoned out of nothing and you put into your work. You were complete in some way that I never was. And I want to know how to how to, I want to know how to be a good person. I want to know how not to hate myself. Please. I'm fading, and all I want is to know that I'm going to be okay. Is so that correct, Davy? Damn. Is that finished like that? Epilogue. Let's go. J'aurais bien vu un vrai Coda travailler sur Destiny Parable. More, Les thèmes se reprennent pas mal plus. More, more, more love, more praise, more people telling me that I'm good. Always more, more, more. It's like a disease. C'est un jeu sur toi ou c'est un jeu sur Koda? Est-ce que Davy t'a fait une gare pour euh, mettre des lampadaires comme excuse? Il y a un arrivée ou un départ? Ah! La porte est ouverte. Solution. 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 I guess if someone had told me ahead of time that he just really enjoyed making prison games, maybe I wouldn't have thought he was so desperate. I wouldn't have told so many people that he was depressed. Maybe he just likes making prisons. Peut-être. Peut-être que pour lui c'était un peu ça le sens de la vie, qui était pas déprimé par rapport à ça. Even now, the disease is telling me to stop. Don't show people what a shitty person you are. They'll hate you. Non, ce mec t'en veut pas. Il trouvait peut-être juste trop extra pour lui. Mais je suis sûr t'en veux pas. Des choses qui arrivent. On comprend pas nécessairement les personnes qui sont autour de nous. On n'a pas la vérité ou la compréhension totale tout le temps. C'est normal. If I knew that my life depended on finding something to be driven by other than validation, what would that even be? <laughs> It's strange, but the thought of not being driven by external validation is unthinkable. Like, I actually cannot conceive of what that would be like. Le faire juste pour soi-même? Il y en a pour que ça marche. Comme quand tu fais juste regarder les oiseaux pour toi, pendant que personne te voit autour, parce que ça te fait sentir bien. I think I need to go. And I'm sorry because I know that I said that I would be here and I, and I would walk you through this, but I'm starting to feel like I have a lot of work to do. <laughs> I have a lot that I need to make up for. Hey, but problem, so Divi. Just gonna. I'm gonna let you go. The micro is not branched. I have to continue to jazz par dessus. C'est pour ça que ça intéresse aussi en pensant Davy Redden, le créateur de Stanley Parable, le créateur de ce jeu aussi. A fait des entrevues. A déjà streamé avec son frère, honnêtement. Super sympathique. 
très philosophique comme personne. Évidemment, je, je, c'est clair. Avec le genre d'écriture qu'il fait. Oh, moi, c'est un ascenseur. Je pensais que c'était comme euh, le puits qu'il avait fait dans sa nuit parabole. <rire> Ou c'est une petite marche, mais vu que tu peux pas sauter, tu peux pas sortir. Ah, c'est relagore. Bien sonore est très bonne, c'est sûr aussi. En tout cas, on s'éclate. Ah, oh, c'est le jeu de lumière du début. un peu ah. il a choisi la fin de de coda où on lève au ciel au lieu de mourir ben, c'est pas si mal je comprends que c'est un hommage je comprends l'intention derrière ça fort le son quand même. Alina Heron. C'est la chanson? Quand même. Très bon jeu à sa façon. Sentiment étrange de briser l'intimité de quelqu'un finalement qui voulait peut-être pas que son travail soit public. Je sais pas. Est-ce que c'est volontaire, Davy? Dis-le moi. Si c'est un jeu fait du fond du cœur puis que c'est une vraie histoire, ben je pense que des vies faut que t'apprennes que c'est pas grave si c'est pas tout le monde qui t'aime. C'était The Beginner's Guide, fait par Davy Redden. Désolé si ça vous a déprimé, j'espère que vous avez passé un excellent moment. Moi personnellement j'ai adoré. Puis je vous souhaite à tous une excellente semaine. Merci vraiment d'avoir été là. Je vous dis à la prochaine. Allez, ciao bye.